So Meth is here and came by for breakfast. Hey buddy. And the hummingbirds are fighting each other. <laughs> so I got his bag of breakfast over here. Let's see. And I'm going to feed him. Hey buddy. There he goes. And then Fable was up there on the power line. But I've been sitting here all morning watching. See, there's the hummingbird. Watching them come to get their food. See, there he is. There's like three or four of them that keep fighting over it. See, there, there they go. Oh, there's a, that's a little girl. They keep fighting over the food. You can see its little head back there. There's two of them eating. They stopped fighting. I think we've reached a truce. And they flew off. Now there's four of them. And I think, are they all gonna be friends? They're all eating. Oh, a fifth one came. You can see the little head on the other one in the back it keeps popping up. So there's four of them eating out of it now. That one's still eating. They drank that half, that entire half of that bottle already in a day. In a day. That's crazy. one with the brown tail, the one that just came in, that one's been like beating everybody up. He chases everybody away. He's really pretty though. He's green and then he's got like a really brown underbelly and a brown tail and he's got like a white stripe on his neck. It's been really nice out here. I've really been enjoying it with the um, the wind chimes that Sylvia sent right back there. So it's really nice to come out here and have my little coffee and watch the birds. We were thinking about moving that bird feeder. I just ordered some hooks and we're gonna put it over here on the other side of the deck 
because <clears throat> the birds will come over there, but they won't come inside the yard. They'll perk up along the wall, the fence here, um, but they won't come in. And what I have noticed as well, since I put up the hummingbird feeder, is that um, they've since ditched the zinnias. <laughs> the zinnias got ditched. Um, so now they're just drinking out of that. So I think we're going to move this to under the deck and then maybe get another little hummingbird feeder and put it there because they, they really do seem to, to like it. I got it earlier. There was four of them eating from the hummingbird feeder. So that was very nice. Here comes another one. They're just so cute and it's funny that they're just so territorial too because they're just so tiny and cute and precious and to think that they're mean is kind of heartbreaking <laughs> it's like you're too cute to be mean off. Yeah, I think that's the mean one. The one with the brown tail. So this is day number two with that um, new hummingbird feeder and I put it up yesterday and it was all the way full and now it's less than half so I'm wondering how quickly they go through it I didn't realize that they were such big feeders but that's okay and he's off to have them visiting the yard. Get to see them. It's so cute. Oh, where is he? There he is. Myth is back for breakfast. Oh, and a hummingbird is back. So I'm going to let him eat first before I get up. I don't want to spook him. And then I'm going to go feed Myth because he's going to start squawking at me here in a minute because he's going to want his peanuts. Oh, he went back over. Usually perches up on this tree right here, and then he starts squawking at me for breakfast. So I have to keep him fed or he gets angry. So, yeah, these are my mornings out here with coffee, coffee, and um, the birds. And it's so nice now with the, with the, um, with the wind chimes, Sylvia, that it's very relaxing. We're thinking about getting rid of the pool table 
I mean, um, or not completely rid of it. This thing's like 12 feet long. So we're thinking about shortening it and um, getting like some chairs out here, like comfy chairs so I can sit out here and read a book um, and hang out because it's, it's very nice see the animals and hear those soft wind chimes and have my coffee and just relax because we don't have a huge yard but I really do enjoy it now with the wildlife that's coming. Oh, there's two. Okay. Oh, they're about to start fighting. And for being such tiny little animals, they really, they're kind of loud, the little squeaky. I think we're gonna name them Pip and Squeak for all of them. Because they do have like a squeaky sound. There's two of them eating. Uh-oh. See, I told you he, the little brown one likes to beat people up. And they're off. Well, I'm going to go feed Myth over there and um, <clears throat> sit here and enjoy my coffee. And from where I'm sitting to there, it's only about, I know it looks far on the camera, but it's only like five feet maybe, maybe four. It's not far. So I get to see them pretty up close out here. And it's, it's very nice. Very, very nice. I think I'm going to bring out my work computer too and work out here. Here's another one for today. Because it's really nice and cool. I think it's like 74, 75 degrees. We have a nice ocean breeze coming in. better than being indoors, you know? Well, thanks so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the, see, there's Myth screaming for breakfast. Where is he? He's right there, screaming for breakfast. Um, so, I should feed him his peanuts. Um, so thanks so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the hummingbird camp. <laughs> um, hope that brought a smile to your face this morning. Uh, you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.